Hello students, my name is Professor Mohammad Asim and we are doing AdMath. AdMath for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIEO level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. Students in last lecture, we did question number 1 and question number 2 of exercise 15.6 and the topic of this exercise is integration of the function 1 upon x and 1 upon ax plus b. We did all parts of question number 1 and question number 2 and today we are going to do remaining questions of this exercise. So before I start question number 3, first I would suggest all those students who are watching my lecture first time kindly go to my playlist there is a folder name is admath watch previous lectures of this exercise and this chapter after watching previous lectures you will have good command on this topic let's start question number three a curve is such that dy by dx equals to five upon 2x minus 1. Given that the curve passes through the point 1 comma 3, find the equation of the curve. For x greater than 0 0.5 means if x is 0 0.5 then the function is undefined. So this for x greater than 0 0.5 doesn't impact on the question, just information. So first write dy is equals to 5 upon 2x minus 1 dx integrate both side it is y because d and integrate cancel 5 is outside the integration so 1 upon 2x minus 1 dx y is equals to what I told you in previous lecture, if the derivative of the denominator exists in numerator, then the integration is ln of denominator. No need to apply the formula. What is denominator in the function 2x minus 1? Therefore, 2x minus 1 derivative is 2. So, we have to write in numerator 2 and in order to balance we must divide by 2 so y is equals to 5 upon 2 and 2 upon 2x minus 1 integration is ln 2x minus 1 plus c and now this curve passes through the point y comma 3 means we have to put 3 is equals to 5 upon 2 ln 2x x is 1 minus 1 plus c 5 upon 2 ln 2 1 the 2 2 minus 1 1 plus c 5 upon 2 into ln 1 you can find from the calculator you will get 0 so, so 3 is equals to 5 upon 2 into 0 is 0 plus c and c is equals to 3 put this value of c in equation number 1 y is equals to 5 over 2 ln 2x minus 1 plus c c is 3 so hope you understand completely question number 3 very easy and very important according to examination point of view move to question number 4 A curve is such that dy by dx equals to 2x plus 5 upon x. For x greater than 0 means should be greater than 1. Sorry, greater than 0 means x cannot be 0. Okay? 
because if x zero the function is undefined. Given that the curve passes through the point e comma e square, find the equation of the curve. Very easy question. dy is equals to two x plus five upon x dx. Integrate both side. It is y two x integration is x square upon two plus five one upon x integration is ln x. So y is equals to two cancel by two x square plus five ln x plus c. Don't forget to put plus c. Now find the value of c by substitute the given coordinate e e square. So y is e square. And sorry, x square. X is e. It is e square plus five ln x e plus c. E square cancel by e square. Ln and e cancel. This five should be. This five should be transferred on left hand side. So the value of c is minus five. Hence. Equation of curve is equals to x square plus five, ln x plus c. C is minus five. This is our final answer. So very very easy question. If you if your concept is clear, then all questions are very easy. Move to last question. Question number five. A curve is such that dy by dx is equals to one upon x plus e, for which x should be greater than minus e. Given that the curve passes through the point e comma two plus ln two, find the equation of the curve. Very very easy question. Dy is equals to one upon x plus e dx. Integrate both sides. What is the derivative of x plus e? Derivative of x is one. Derivative of e is zero because e is constant, and the derivative of x is one is present in numerator. Therefore, the integration must be ln x plus e. N plus c. Now satisfy this equation by the given coordinate. The value of y is given two plus ln two is equals to ln. X plus sorry, ln x. X is e e plus e plus c. Two plus ln two. Ln e plus e is two e. So apply the rule of logarithm. If two numbers are multiplied, then log can convert it the number into. Addition. So ln two e can be right ln two plus ln e plus c. Ln two cancel by ln two. Two is equals to ln and e cancel. So one. If you cancel ln and e, you will have one. Don't forget this. Plus c. Two minus one is one. Now put this value of one in equation number. One, y is equals to ln e x plus e plus c. C is one. This is our final answer. Question number five. So hope you enjoy this question. What next? In this exercise, nothing. So today we finished exercise fifteen point six. All questions, all parts. The next exercise is more important than previous exercises because in this exercise many questions, almost I can say I should say all questions are very important for examination purpose. How many questions? One, two, 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन सो थर्टीन क्वेश्चन एंड ऑल क्वेश्चन आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई विल डू ईच एंड एवरी क्वेश्चन सो स्टूडेंट दिस इज अवर टू डेज क्लास वेयर वी फिनिश एक्सरसाइज फिफ्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स काइंडली डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड वेर एवर यू सब्सक्राइब डोंट फॉर गेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन बटन so that when i upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos as many as you can okay students good luck for next lecture